Hi, I'm Mrs. Lindsay Sigmund. Welcome to Back to School Night. I am really excited to start this semester. I've already had an opportunity to meet and begin to work with uh, your children, and they have been awesome students. They've hit the ground running in this new semester, and I'm really excited to see you know, what's ahead of us. Obviously, for many reasons, this has been a very challenging year full of a lot of uncertainty, but I've been really impressed as we've started this new semester with just the positive enthusiasm uh, that your children have shown in, in hitting the ground running and, and tackling the challenges of the, the opening days and weeks of this course. So the class is Advanced Placement English Literature and Composition. It is a class designed to prepare students if they choose to take the College Board exam in May, but it's also a course designed to really build on skills that that the students have, you know, honed and and developed over their many years of education in, you know, English language arts and communication arts, and, and then really to uh, work on that mastery level. A word I, I've told them I'm going to use a lot with them is sophistication, you know, building on those those foundational skills that they've practiced and now looking at how can you use those skills and vary them and apply them in different contexts and, and to the greatest effect. And, and so I'm really excited to work with them and, and already seeing some of the things that they're developing. Uh, I look forward to this semester ahead. This course is uh, a lot to juggle at times just because the students are constantly going to be reading longer works while supplementing with shorter works and navigating different writing tasks and things like that. I think this is really important for the students as they gain that independence in managing their time and navigating multiple challenges, but it can also be something that's very daunting. And so if you see any of that stress coming home, please encourage them to talk to me about it. One of the big goals of this class beyond this straight curriculum, which is obviously very important, is the process. And, and I've already talked to the students about this, you know, especially when we look forward to that college level of engaging in the central skills of reading, writing, speaking, and listening. It is increasingly going to be something that they navigate with much more independence and less supports and guidance along the way. And so I really see my role as being somebody that gives them opportunities to develop and, and assess and reflect on their process and look at what's working, identify what's not working, and try new strategies. And so they will have a lot of flexibility in how they pace things to get to some bigger due date markers, but I will also be there supporting them and recommending, you know, what would be a daily way to break up these tasks and to, you know, aim to have everything done by these larger chunked due dates. Again, uh, I've said this directly to them, but if they're voicing any frustrations at home with, you know, getting through the reading, with getting through the writing, with managing the various workloads, please tell them to talk to me um, because I do think that this is one of the most important skills that we work on in this course. Again, reading and writing our processes as well as kind of the tasks that we engage in and the things that we assess in this class and processes are things that are individualized we all navigate them differently and it's important that they find what works for them so that they're able to be the most successful that they can be as i've already mentioned this class is reading and writing intensive um, on a daily basis students will be reading and writing some of that's less formal, some of it's shorter, quick pieces that we'll read and talk about and then move forward. Some of it's longer novels and plays that they'll be tackling. Same thing with writing. Sometimes it's a quick kind of journal style of response and sometimes it's a much longer and sustained process that they'll be going through. Uh, another major aspect of this course, which is not directly assessed on the college board exam, but is integral to everything that we do, is that speaking and listening. It's the discussion. Um, we've already started engaging in some of those conversations about literature, and this is really important and maybe more so than ever in this current year with social distancing and some of the virtual learning, having that connection and, and coming together with other people to see 
see their perspectives on things and their ideas on things and and listening to to how they navigate through understanding something and their process and then sharing our own and coming to common understandings or even respectful kind of disagreements is also going to be part of our daily work in this class and, and so you know whether that's something your your child looks forward to or whether you know sometimes class discussions and, and speaking can be a big source of anxiety this is something that we're really going to build and focus on as we move forward we will look at some of the technology and digital tools that I think students have become a lot more familiar with over this year and and that they may be likely to see in the the future but I'm also looking forward to us in class together having these rich conversations and and sharing and 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 navigating through how you know our different understandings of the text help us to gain a deeper um, and, and stronger understanding of what we read uh, in addition to these skills, you know, obviously critical thinking is going to be central um, to the work we do and, and with the discussion in many of our projects, collaboration and, and working with one another to come to that stronger understanding is, is central. Uh, all of our units of this class are organized around a big, what we call an essential question, and, and that will drive a lot of our discussion. Uh, they're also organized around a central text, a novel or play, a longer work that I select. Our first one that we're actually starting to read right now is Jane Eyre. And so, you know, at any given time, you can always ask your child, what are you reading? In addition to the class text, they will get a list, and for the different units, it varies from anywhere from like six to ten other longer length works that they're selecting, and they'll be juggling those two books at the same time, both being used to help us examine and discuss our, our central question at the time. This first one has to do with, you know, do we define who we are and, and looking at issues of identity and the self and how various authors explore and make sense of that big issue. The other units that we have will be centered around The Sun Also Rises by Ernest Hemingway, King Lear by William Shakespeare, and we'll close with Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. And they'll have a variety of different um, books and plays that they'll be selecting from to go along with those. In addition, if you ask them what they're reading to the two books they have at the time, we'll be doing a number of shorter length texts, excerpts from longer works, lots of poetry, that we'll be examining and some short stories and even some nonfiction as well to kind of complement what we're talking about. Um, and so talking to your child about what they're reading and what they're doing with the reading and what they understand from the reading is really a great way to foster the kinds of conversations and, and thinking that that is our, one of our main goals of this class. In addition to their reading, you can always ask them what writing assignments they have kind of either that day or in that week. Uh, writing in this class will range from more sustained text that they will be writing over many days, sometimes working on outside of class, and then developing through the writing process, revising, um, doing some self and peer assessment, and then revising again before the polished piece is submitted. We also will do some timed in-class writings because that is what the College Board exam demands of them. And so I, I always, this is a big source of nerves for students a lot of times when they have to do something quickly. And so we'll talk a lot about that. We'll work on strategies. And we'll also talk about, you know, the opportunity that gives us to really practice that quick thinking and, and build good habits for when we have to tackle a writing assignment. How do we do so effectively but still efficiently um, in a quick time frame? For students that really, you know, have a lot of anxiety about that, I always assure them there will be opportunities if the, the grade you receive on one of those timed essays is not where you initially want it to be, there will be opportunities to revise and replace those assessments as well. The goal of all of this is to practice the skills and to really build our confidence and, and our mastery level attacking these assignments with sophistication. Finally, uh, you know, and I've said this already, 
with the reading and the writing comes that ongoing discussion. And so even just asking your child, you know, what kinds of things are you talking about in class? You know, what are you thinking about them is a good way to encourage them to be making those connections that are so important to learning at, you know, the, the highest of levels. Um, and, and the more that they can see the, the individual little assignments we do in that larger context, I think the more powerful and relevant a lot of what we do can be. In this class, as I've already said, there's a balance of that structure of when the target dates are due, and then a lot of flexibility for students to manage their own time and pace themselves with what works for them. And, and so it, if there's anything I can clarify for you, uh, please don't hesitate to contact at any time. Uh, again, I really see my goal here when students are thriving and finding success and passionate about an interest in something, my job is to really continue to challenge them, to give them opportunities to expand those skills, to use them in new ways, to make different connections, or, you know, sometimes just to push them outside their comfort level with a new kind of task that has them apply that skill. If your child is struggling, you know, I really see my goal here is to finding the right supports to help them see the, the broken down steps and skills that will lead to them ultimately being successful in that skill area. Finally, uh, this is driven, obviously, this course by the possibility of taking the AP exam in May. We have started uh, the work of setting up their college board online accounts and getting registered for the class and then the exam itself. So if you have any questions, there'll be more information coming home as we get closer to, to the dates on that process. But that, of course, is always an option for them to take in the spring. And we will do the work to be prepared for that if they choose to do so. If you have any questions at any time, please don't hesitate to contact. You know, I, I'm here, I'm an email away, and if you prefer to talk over the phone, if you called the high school office at any time, they would put you through to my extension and I'd be happy to get right back to you. Again, I'm looking forward to working with your child this semester. If there's absolutely anything you need as we continue to navigate through this very unusual year, please don't hesitate to contact at any time. Thank you so much and have a wonderful evening.